Hi guys, Gals and Unbiring Pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. In today's video, I'm gonna be finding out for myself, once and for all, is Vinted actually worth it? Now, I've never used Vinted and I've never done anything like that, but I'm currently moving and I'm becoming more and more aware of how much junk I have. I have clothes that I've had for such a long time. I don't think I've ever worn half of this stuff. I think some of the stuff I have, and I don't know if you do this as well, but I think some of the stuff that I have I bought in a smaller size hoping like hoping that one day I'll be able to fit into it and guess what besties that never happened <laughs> So part of this move is me going through my closet and figuring out what I actually want and things like that. I've had a lot of stuff in my closet for a really, really long time. My style has developed and changed over the couple years. So a lot of the stuff that I have still fits me, but it's not really my bag anymore. So what I want to do is to make sense of everything that I've got. I would like to make a little bit of money out of this because I still have my student loan that I'd like to pay off as well. So anything that I make from this vintage experience, I'll put towards my debt, hopefully. So as I said, I've never used vintage before, but from my understanding without doing any research whatsoever, because obviously I'm going to start a video without doing any research. So what I understand is that Vinted is like an app or a site that you can get on your phone. You can take a photo of some things and then you can upload that and then people go onto the site and they buy those things super, super cheap and you post it to them. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump into this head first, get Vinted and yeah, start selling some stuff. So because I've done no research and I don't know what I'm doing, this video could very well be an absolute catastrophe. So welcome to the chaos. <laughs> My first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is to raid my wardrobe and let's get going. Okay, so I've made a bit of a mess, but basically and essentially, this is the pile of stuff that I wanna put on Vinted. So I'm going to sort of pack that and take photos of it all right now so that I can just list it all when I've got some time. So what I went and did is I downloaded the Vinted app and I started to list the items. I thought that it was gonna take a really long time, but it was actually free to list an item and it was really, really simple. I think, all in all, it probably took me about 45 minutes to list all of the items. So it's probably about a minute to list an item, which I thought was actually really good. I named the shop something really special. <laughs> so there's lots of different postage options that you can do. So you, there's like a DHL, you can send it through the post office. You can do quite a lot of different things. There's a lot of different couriers that I don't recognize on there as well. So you could click on it and see where your nearest office was to actually send that away. So you can tick the things that you can't really get to. There's also a really good function where you can make deals. If someone buys three or five items, they can get a percentage off. This is sounding like a sponsored video now, but it's not. But the other thing that's really, really cool, if someone buys from your shop for the first time, they get their posters for free, which I think is really, really good and a really good incentive. So after I listed all of the products last night, I turned my phone off and I went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, I had sold three items, which like, wow, that, that's really, really good. So last night we sold the beige shorts, the short sleeved linen shirt and the Home Alone Christmas jumper. I have no idea how I sold a Christmas jumper on the 8th of July, but I mean, <laughs> great. What I got was an email to say, you've sold this item, and then you click on the email and you can actually download the postage label. So I'm going to download the postage labels, wrap these up, and then get them all sent off. So when you sell something on Vinted, you get an email that says, here it is, go and download your postage label. So out of the two that we've sold, two of them are going to a off license near me and you just print off the parcel from home. What I've done is I've written on the bottom what I'm posting because it doesn't actually say on the top. So I would get confused if I didn't. And then the other one, the customer opted for Royal Mail, but you actually have to go and make that label yourself. 
So I know how to do that because of my business, but you might need to sign up to Royal Mail and do that and you have to pay for it up front. I am gonna go ahead and package those now and I will take them to the post office and to the off license. So here are all of the items that are up on Vinted right now, packaged nice and neatly. So I'm gonna take the three items that I've sold and I'm gonna package them up. It's closed. I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna post it tomorrow because I got another order I need to tell you about as well. So hopefully it's another one of these. So when I got the email from Vinted, they said that once the customer has confirmed that they've got the item, then they will mark it as they've got it, and then I'll get the money for it, which is absolutely fine. So with the Royal Mail ones, I get the full amount. So what I pay for the postage and the item, with the ones that are done by the courier, they've all, the customer's already paid for the postage, so I'll just get the price of the item, which is absolutely fine. And basically there's this clause, if they don't do anything within five days, then they're just debited, and I just get the money for it, which is really, really good. The thing about Vinted that isn't very because you do get random messages pop up that just don't mean anything. And when you go and click on it, you're like, where is that from? What Vinted did do though, is they messaged me to say that you get one free boost, they call it. So boost is something that you can do to your items to make them seen by more people. Sorry about the church bells. I'm just gonna talk through it. So basically boosting is something that costs 95p. You boost your item and it gets seen by more people. I guess it's a way for them to make more money out of you but for items that I'm only charging a pound for, I'm not gonna do. But they gave me a free boost and I boosted an item and then I sold it. So that's great. That is loud. So today I sold the teal and black checked shirt which was in a multi-pack with the Dragon Ball Z t-shirt, and I got that for 360. And I also sold the Street Fighter Christmas jumper. And then also we sold the graphic t-shirt that we boosted. The noise, ah! It's closed. I'm really gonna have to look at the opening hours of this place. Today's been pretty successful. We sold, well, it's two orders, but one order was seven parts. So it was multi, like in the multi discount thing that you can discount get. thing that you can get. So we made, so we made seven and pounds I also on that sold, one. And I also sold the shark onesie, which I was really surprised at. And I also at. sold I mean, the shark onesie, which I was really surprised at. I mean, don't know. One thing I noticed is that the first order that I sold actually went all the way to Lithuania. So it isn't just confined to the UK, like it's all over Europe. I can't believe that. And the fact that I paid no postage to send something to Lithuania was actually brilliant. So I've packaged those up. They were both Royal Mail. So I'm gonna take those to the post office in a sec and let's see what the rest of the week brings me. Okay, so today I sold the denim shirt for two pounds and a pair of the jeans for two pounds. So four pound in a day is not that bad. So this morning it is, what's the date today? It's the 11th of August. It's been really, really quiet on Vinted for a really, really long time, but I have sold the cat t-shirt, which 
is a beaut. It was one of those t-shirts that like I bought, I wore once and I was like, oh, this is a bit plasticky because it's like so printed. Out of all of the products on Vinted, this one has had the most um, like favorites and things like that because people can go ahead and favorite it and stuff like that. What people can do on Vinted is they can, if something is listed for say a fiver, they can go in and message the buyer and say, can I have this for three quid? And you have a drop down button that says yes or no, or you can say, oh, four quid will do. But with the prices, I think they're low enough as it is. So I've just said no. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe leave everything up there for maybe two weeks more, see what I sell and the rest I'll donate because it's annoying having it here, but I know I've got some good stuff, so hopefully it will sell. But yeah, it is annoying having it here. So whatever I don't sell after two weeks, I will donate and then we'll have the final number and then we'll decide what we want to do with the money. Okay, so today I sold the denim shirt for two pounds and a pair of the jeans for two pounds. So four pound in a day is not that bad. So today is the 14th of August and today I have sold the Totoro hoodie, which is really good. That was a fiver. So I've got quite a nice total at this point. So I wrapped it up, printed off the postage label and that was Royal Mail. So it's one of those ones where I have to pay up front and uh, when the customer receives it, I get the money for it. So I took it to the post office. If you're not going to the post office, I think it probably would be a bit of a ball ache to have that option, but you can untick that option it's not a big deal for me to go to the post office because part of my job I have to go to the post office anyway. So I started this sort of vintage thing on the 8th of July and what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it on the 25th of August because that gives it an even seven weeks and then when the seven weeks is over I can see how much money I made up, see how much that I have left over as well because I listed 40 items and I feel like I've sold nearly half of them already and it feels quite passive for me but if you're not someone who regularly goes to the post office it might not be but yeah i'll save my final thoughts for the end of this video but so far so good um let's see what the rest of the next sort of week and a half brings me so it's about a week until the experiment with vintage is over and i thought how annoying because I've still got quite a lot of stuff left over. I've got 21 items left to sell. So I thought out of the 40, I've done about half of it. And I'd like to have well, like one last flurry just to see if I can get rid of everything in a week. So what I did last night is I reduced absolutely everything on my store to one pound each just to see if I can get rid of anything extra because like there were jackets on there for like three pounds, four pounds and things like that. So I wanted to just see, can I get rid of everything? So when we end the experiment on the 25th, I'm gonna see what I have left over as well as like how much money I made. But what I do have left over, I am just gonna donate because I don't want it in my house. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's hope that with the now reductions, we can get rid of a couple more bits. Hello, so it's Wednesday the 24th. It is literally two days before I'm closing this experiment and I sold the pink t-shirt. So I'm gonna pack that and take that to um, my nearest off license because I've moved since I started this experiment and um, it's not a Royal Mail uh, label. It's a one of those every parcel labels. So I need to take that to the, it's a co-op now. So I'm gonna take it there. And that's that. So I wonder if I'm going to make any last sales in the last two days. Um, if not, this might be the last clip. I don't think reducing the prices of everything to one pound worked because it's still just as slow as it was. I think it's just a case of do people want the products? And if they don't, they don't, if that makes sense. So yeah. So let's see how it goes and I will see you in the next clip. I don't know whether that's me saying I've sold something or whether I'm closing out the video, but I will see you soon. So I didn't sell anything extra on Vinted, so I've ended the experiment today and kind of feels like a relief to have it all over. So the experiment for me lasted seven weeks and in those seven weeks I sold 20 items, which I am quite pleased with. I did not think that I would be able to sell that many items. And in the end, I made 45 pounds and 60 pence, which I think is so much money just out of nowhere. And honestly, I did not expect that much money. I didn't expect to sell as much as I sold and I didn't expect to make that much money. So we're down to the final question. Is Vinted or Depop or all of those sort of like 
closed selling sites really worth it? When I consider that, you've got to think about time, energy and the output. So the output is that you, you do make a fair bit of money out of just nowhere. I mean, it's not going to change your life, but it's 45 quid that I've got that I didn't have before. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to say, yeah, I'll have 45 quid. Yeah, no worries. When you consider how much time it takes to sort out, it's really a sort of, is it right for you sort of question. So for me, I was already going to the post office. I didn't mind going to an off license every now and then. Um, so yeah, it's, it's okay. But if you're making a special trip to an off license to post a one pound t-shirt, might not be worth it to you. However, if your store is like kicking off and you're like selling loads and loads of stuff, yeah, it might be. I feel like from start to beginning, the whole experience was very, very easy. It was very easy to take photos of my items, very easy to list them on Vinted. I didn't have to pay anything. And all I had to do was just wait for people to buy stuff. I didn't have to promote them. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to wait for people to buy it. And by and large, most of it was sold. In that way, it was a real success. However, I was left with about 20 items. Now, a normal person, I'm, I'm not a normal person, <laughs> A normal person would probably just leave those on Vinted and just wait for them to be sold because probably eventually they would get sold and I would just post them off. But I use this as an exercise to get rid of some clothes. So for me, I just need them gone. So I have taken those other 20 items. It was like some suit jackets and things like that. I actually took them to the charity shop and they gladly accepted them. So that was a really positive thing and I was quite pleased about that. So for me, was it worth it for me? Yes, because I was already going to those places I was already making postage labels. It wasn't a bother for me. But if you're uh, maybe a stay at home mum or anything like that, actually getting in the car, bringing the kids with you to post one item might not be worth it. It's a really easy, 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 easy side hustle. So if all you're after is like an extra 13 quid, 14 quid a week, just for selling your kids stuff and your old stuff, why not? It's like not bad. So do I recommend Vinted? Yeah, it's like as long as you've got like 20 minutes in a day to just bother with, you know, bagging up some shoes and posting them. Yeah, why not? Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. I truly hope you liked this style of video. And if you do, let me know because I'll try to do more. Maybe I can try Depop or some other sites that you might want to consider. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. And that is all I have for you this week. As you know, I'm currently on holiday, so I have no idea if we have any new patrons or not. So please, please, please bear with me on that. So here are the current patrons, and I don't know if we've got any more. And if we do get any more while I'm away, I will update you on the next available video. I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching, Bestie. Bye-bye.